Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. That is um, <clears throat> taken in the Philippines in one of the courtyards in an old um, Spanish uh, houses that are in the old Manila. <clears throat> Hi, how are you today? I'd like to uh, share with you Habakkuk 2 verse 19. It says, What sorrow awaits you who say to wooden idols, Wake up and save us. To speechless stone images you say, Rise up and teach us. Can an idol tell you what to do? Here's my point. Woe to idols and idolatry. What sort of idols are you giving praise? What sort is it money, power, or any new craze? What sorrow awaits those who have idols? They are making God so very jealous. When people prioritize other things over the Lord, they lose much by following the standards of this world. Why waste time on things that fade away? Only the Lord is the real God who can save. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's my essay. The New Living Translation gives a background to the book of Pro prophet Habakkuk. He preached during the last days of Judah before its fall to Babylon in 586 B.C. He foresaw the impending doom and was troubled by two things. Why God allowed the people of Judah to sin and how God could use a sinful nation like Babylon to punish Judah. Desperate for answers, Habakkuk boldly and confidently took his complaints directly to God, which the Lord replied with righteousness, ultimately prevailing despite the impending dark days ahead. In Habakkuk 2, 18 to 19, <clears throat> it is a warning to all regarding idols and idolatry. How meaningless it is to put your trust in idols carved by man. He warns the people to give up idolatry, for there is much sorrow awaiting them. Prayer. Lord, convict me of any idols in my life. Reflection. What is a gauge that something or someone is becoming an idol in your life? Well, I think when you spend more time with something rather than spending it with God is an idol. Is anything or anyone that stops you from having a relationship with the Lord becomes an idol. In my case, um, for so many years, uh, <clears throat> I went through a lot of um, sins. And uh, by the time I asked the Lord to heal me, He did. But then He gave me a tool so I could release my anger which is a painting, which, which I became a painter. But I prayed for that because I've always wanted to be a painter since I was three years old. But it didn't happen until I was 36. So when I became a prolific painter, that tool, that idol, that, that tool that God gave me so I can creatively express my anger and probably heal from it became an idol to me. I was obsessed because I started selling my works. Um, up to date, I probably have sold about 400 paintings back in the Philippines. And so that, that, idol that idolatry, didn't e I didn't even realize it was idolatry because I wasn't a born-again Christian when I was uh, into it. I was a Christian, but I didn't know the truth. I did not <clears throat> study the Word of God. I read it, but I didn't apply it. 
So in James it says that you cannot just be hearers of the word, but also doers. So a gauge that something is becoming an idol to you is when you are being obsessed by something. When you spend more time on the things that are not important. And mind you, the things that are important are the spiritual things that will save us, that will bring us closer to God. So anything that stops us from being close to God, it could be television watching, <clears throat> it could be a hobby that you like. Uh, like in my case, it just started as a hobby painting and then it became a job and then it became a source of my ego, uh, feeding my ego. And it could be even your family. If you spend more time with your spouse, with your children, rather than you would spend time with God, then that's an idol in your life. Or when you find that there is something that occupies your mind, occupies your, 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 your whole time, then that becomes an idol. If, because uh, God wants us to be occupied with with the things that he wants us to be occupied with and he wants us to be occupied with love with um, with his will with his commands with following his commands with with reaching out to others with uh, to our brothers and sisters so anything that is selfishly motivated could be an idol if you just want to do something because you know you you want to feed yourself you want to be happy you want to you know, you want to you, you want to make somebody happy then <clears throat> it could possibly turn into an idol so a lot of our obsessions a lot of our impulse reaction could be um leaning on towards idolatry or idol, uh, being an, uh, having an idol so i warn you just like habakkuk is warning the people that it's useless to to, to spend time or, or to waste your time on these meaningless idols because there's only one God who can save you, and that is our Lord Jesus Christ. So thanks for watching, and I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com. Have a blessed day. God loves you so much. Remember to relate with Him all the time so you will not have to resort to idols and idolatry. God loves you.